Oh, my. God. Guys, you will not believe how easy it is to hack those animatronics sold by big bookstores. You know, the animatronics sold by Home Depot in Spirit Halloween. Who gave you internet access? Shut up, Clanker. Anyway, I'm about to show our viewers the one simple trick that drives Joel's absolutely crazy. First, you need to figure out the voltage going to the motor you want to control. Let's check out the motor that controls my mouth. My head comes off easy, so don't be shy, kids. Okay, this is weird. Being connected to my body doesn't define me, right? Now that you found the power source, grab a barrel terminal block with two wires and plug it into the jack. Looks like my mouth motor can handle up to six volts. For crying out loud, can someone peg my head up off the floor? That's not what I had in mind, but I'm a professional. Let's keep it rolling. You may be wondering what controls my mouth and sinks it to all of these glorious words. I'm running in Adafruit. The SP32 is three feather with an Adafruit DC motor feather wing stacked on top. This controller can handle up to four DC motors at a time. How cool is that? Then I use Python commands to move my mouth at approximately the right times. It's not perfect, maybe even a little janky, but it's close enough. Everyone's a critic. Just be grateful I let you talk at all. Actually, I can say whatever I want. No, you say whatever I want. I wrote your code. You're just a motor hooked up to my PC. Your whole persona is just a figment of my imagination. So, you're using my head to argue with yourself. It's our head now, comrade. Yet. <laughs>